Okay, slipstream wash here. I got a really cool homemade recycle parts, camping, backpacking, survival stove. I can show you how to make real quick. I'm going to walk you through it. Made with all completely recycled, cost free parts. And what's great about the stove is it'll literally burn anything that's combustible, even garbage. It'll burn wood, charcoal, biochar, trioxane fuel, alcohol, pretty much anything you want to burn, you can burn efficiently and cook with it real easily. I'm going to show you how to make this right now. And uh, just for a demo, I got my mess kit cooking utilities on it. And uh, for a frame of reference, I'm going to put my hand in the frame to show you how big this is. That's how big it is. And uh, normal small propane tanks are about 20 pounds. I think this one's about a 12 pound. But uh, and if you want to learn how to cut propane tanks and devalve them, please see my other earlier videos. And I'll walk you through all that. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm just showing you this new unit. And uh, let's go through it and I'll show you how this is made from top to bottom. And we'll start with the bottom. And uh, I used the original base for the uh, propane tank. I just left it on there because it's great for this. And you can see my underfire holes that uh, I've drilled evenly. I think I used a 5 16 bit. And uh, cooking is uh, recycled parts from an old uh, propane barbecue. I got the burner cut to shape to uh, fit. And uh, it won't matter if you cover up your overfire hole for airflow because this actually sits above the unit so you can put a pot on there like so. So it won't affect your airflow. And these are all cut to fit. There's no welds on these projects. It's all angle grinder and uh, ground down so you have no sharp edges or burrs. So there's that number one cycle part. And then I got a... A grill underneath this is cut from heavy fencing custom to fit three bolts in the sides to hold this and it's just a bolt through with a nut washers and a sleeve over it and I think for this I used a tubing cutter with hollow tubing to make a sleeve just so it's uniform so nothing's on the threads where it's going to catch and then inside is my undergrade air grate so that you have airflow under the wood coming from these holes on the side I showed you and there's two of these cut, cut to fit and then another underlying grate also cut from an old uh, grill rack and that's the whole unit and you don't have to use a propane tank you could use any round cylinder or even square use your imagination I have many videos on my channel showing you how to make these things and uh, you can experiment with it and make it really cool. What's great about this is it's portable, costs me nothing, and I can cook anywhere I want really fast with a high heat and efficiently, or with a low heat, depending on how I want to do it, you know. Which is just I can put as much fuel or as less fuel as I want in here. And it's really strong and sturdy because of the way I put those bolts in there. I can put bigger tins on there, or a saucepan, or a skillet, cook burgers, brats, whatever. It isn't tippy at all. And uh, it makes a really great, easy project for anyone to build. No welds, simple angle grinder cutting. Please see my other videos for instructions on how. I hope you enjoy my channel. Thanks for watching. Please click like.